Let's look at angular velocity. Let's remember angular velocity, or omega, is equal to 2 pi times the frequency, or if we're dealing with degrees, 360 degrees times the frequency. If we want the total angle in a given time, that is omega times t, our time. All right, so let's look at the following problem. We want to find the angle generated after 5 milliseconds when the frequency is 500 hertz. We want to express our answer in both degrees and radians. So since we're going to express our answer in both degrees and radians, we're going to have to do two problems. Let's start with radians. This first formula is our formula for omega if we're in, a ra in radians. It's omega is equal to 2 pi times the frequency, and our frequency is 500. So we're going to get 1,000 pi for omega. All right, now, first, before we can actually find omega times t, we need to change our 5 milliseconds into just plain old seconds. And to do that, milliseconds are times 10 to the negative 3 to change into seconds. So we're going to go back three places to make milliseconds into point zero zero five. All right, so omega t is going to be 1,000 pi times point zero zero five. And if I put that into my calculator, 1,000 pi times 0 .005 gives me 15.7 radians per second. All right, now we're going to do the same thing for degrees. So this time for degrees, we're going to use 360 times our frequency which if we multiply 360 times 500 in our calculator, it gives us a very large quantity, 180,000. Then let's take the omega and plug it into our omega t formula, 180,000 times 0 0.005. And that's going to give us 900 degrees per second.